Oh my goodness, there's another round. I already said goodbye. For some reason, I thought I was in the finals that last game because it was taking, we've been playing for quite a while. But no, this is the finals. Uh, would you like to play first? Yes, I would because I can't afford to get run over. Um, this is fine. One land really gets us there, and I don't want a mole, so we're going to keep it. And any land is A-OK, -okay, though Swamp would be better. <laughs> can't believe I thought I was out of this tournament. Maybe that was wishful thinking. Well, I know it was wishful thinking. Huh. All right. Ooh. Is this the really aggressive red-white deck that I'm super scared of? All right. I need to land off the top. I can afford to miss one or two times, I think. Depends on what's played. Uh, land off the top would be really nice. Yes! What do I want? I think Coral Bear is just too good here. It blocks the Generator Servant nice and easy. Uh, that's all I really want right now is to get kind of to some late game. Could be right to play the Rough Rider into the Frost Links to start getting some damage down. But that's not what my deck really wants to do. Frost Link is more just to buy time to draw more lands. <laughs> uh, so we can get the Glacial Crasher or our Merc Lurker ripped Roarin in action. Another Red Green Drafter. I was the only blue drafter that I saw. Right? Am I missing something? I don't know. Apparently my memory is horrible. Ooh, that's not good for me. I need to draw a real spell. Because even though Yisun's not a great card, I don't have great ways uh, to deal with it. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and um, lightning strike Yisun right now. Yeah, maybe I'll let him do one one countery thing. Because I want to get another card out. And the Frostlings will tap it down for a while. Not letting any good activations rock out. Um, I like that while I continue to make things happen. And then I can kind of see if there's a better lightning strike target. Yeah, that's good. We can let uh, Yisan stick around for a little while. And we can attack him with a squid, no less. That's really the play I want to make. Boink, one damage. <laughs> I don't know if the Frost Link was right right there. It could have been right to get the Rough Rider down to put pressure on my opponent. If I if uh, Yisan wants to take up all the mana to get a 1-1 one, one or some kind of one creature, that's kind of actually okay for me. Got to keep that in mind. Still, I get attacked with the Frost Links and the Squid next turn if nothing else comes down. Frost thinks I might want to keep around because of the... Uh, ooh, that's going to be good against my Juggernaut. Good to know that exists. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm still just going to be attacking. We'll play the Merc Licker. It'd be great if we had the Swamp. But, uh... Actually, maybe the Rough Rider will go first. I'm definitely going to attack in. Start clearing the way. Opponent's stuck on mana as well. We can clear some stuff gone. The Merc Lurkers we can block for days, whatever. Uh, but if we get our threat down, that's kind of nice. I'll take any of these guys can take a card. I really don't care. Pretty sure Lightning Strike is going to take Yisan out next turn. Opponent takes it. That's cool. Evolving Wilds. So if that's what was drawn this turn, then I'm sure Yisan is just going to take the, the mana here because there's no other play my opponent has. So we can wait a little bit uh, to Lightning Strike out Yisan, I think. If I draw a land next turn, though, could be the time to do it. So my opponent doesn't get it like a, a two drop. Because the first one, we'll get a one drop. The first counter, right? And then I can take it out with the first first counter on it. Scrapyard Mongrel. Let's see if my opponent... 
So my opponent has nothing, right? But could have combat tricks, but didn't opt to use them last turn. So I think we use the turn to frog to try to get Yisong, because Yisong's either going to block, and we can use the turn to frog or not. The, the only one, none of one drops have like, I guess Forge Devil could take out the Frostlings, but I think we can be a little sneaky here. I think we can make this happen. Torchfiend goes there, makes a block. I'm representing, obviously, some stuff. Opponent doesn't go for it, which is fine. I'm happy with these guys. Not happy, but I'm okay with those guys trading. Opponent takes three. In response to the Yison activation, we'll go ahead and Lightning Strike, which isn't great, right? But if I don't do it soon, then he's going to be able to start getting a lot of card advantage. And that's not going to be awesome. Opponent gets a one drop, maybe. What I don't want is the two, the three, the four, and all that afterwards. My opponent can power out a six drop right now. That'd be scary. Shaman isn't super scary, but it's also not very good. Goodness gracious me. I think we're just attacking with the Frost Links. Again, clearing the way is fine. That being said, I like being on D now that we're like really far behind on mana. Yeah, we'll just play the, the Merc Lurker and move forward. Start building out our board. These will be good for blocks once big, big things come down. Our only action right now is a turn to frog. With all of our butts and the next butts, we should be able to take out some big dudes soon enough. If I have six cards in hand, all the mana in the world, went and got a normal land with the Evolving Wild, so I'm a little worried as to uh, what's happening there. Because this generator servant can pound out something. So here comes a big old hasty creature. Ooh, the ancient silverback. Ouch. I guess we take six. I mean, the squid token can block, but I'd rather wait till that matters. I wonder if. I'm just curious if when I turn this to frog, if the regeneration shield in response will still work. I think it will. And that's going to suck. Hey, a land. That's good. Do we race? I'm kind of in the mood for racing now. Race in. My opponent can block. Takes two. We have a bunch of spells we're going to be able to be casting on the race, but my opponent has five spells as well. Hmm. Humana, humana. Hmm. I really want to know how this turn to frog is going to work in regards to the ancient silverback. The next time the creature would be destroyed, this turn it isn't. But it's a shield, right? So doesn't it... I'm going to... This could be very bad. Um, if my opponent activates the Silverback with the Turn to Frog existing, that's not great for me. But I think I need to give it a try. Because I'm probably going to lose anyway if I don't get rid of it that way. I had peels and stuff in hand, but I'm so far behind, I'm not going to be able to catch up with my little dorks. So we're going to try it. It's also like kind of sketchy. 
should double blocked um, with a bunch of different things because there could be pump spells here. So that was just a bad play, even if the uh, regeneration shield doesn't work. I should have put a bunch of things in front of it. Oh, it's so annoying. Ranger's Guile. Meh. So it'd kind of get me anyway. I forgot about Ranger's Guile. I was just thinking about pump spells. So my misplay, or I don't know, maybe just misplay on one of my misplays, actually ended up working A-OK. -okay. Not great, though. Definitely not great. Let's see if we can commence a race in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so far, not so much. We'll leave a squid token back, bash through with these guys. I mean, a race is not great for me, but I think it's the only thing I can try to do considering my hand. I uh, don't know why I played that one. I definitely wanted to play the Scrapyard Mongrel. That was silly of me, because I wanted to put more pressure on my opponent. I'm just completely playing horribly. <sighs> Big breath. Focus. I think this game is probably lost, but I want to be back in the zone to try to get this final ripped and ready for action. My opponent also has four cards in hand. Crazy! And go into combat. Alright, another bad play. Um, I'm not blocking this turn. I'm gonna wait to chump, which means I should have been I should have attacked with the squid token. Last turn. Charging Rhino. Goodness gracious me. That guy's not going to really do it. Chump here. I'll have a mongrel. So I'll take four. Try to do a uh, an engineer and a lightning strike against it later on. Yeah. I'll attack with the 1-3s right now. If my opponent wants to try to block, I'll see if I can't make that uh, lightning strike stick. But with three cards in hand, there's probably a pump of some sort. Gonna try to race. Trying to race. <laughs> 10 power versus 3 power on the board. Ouch. Let's see what happens here. Yay! So that's good. Not great, but it's good. Got one of the threats gone. Now I jump here and then I get to, uh. I don't know. Just die later. Lightning Strike! I would say that for the face, I think. Cause I was going to chump anyway. Well, maybe my opponent has the lethal right now, like a t uh, uh, pump spell. That could be it. Nope. What else you got? I was pretty much handed it to me this turn, or this game. Um, I don't know how much of it has to do with lands. Some of it has to do with being a little behind. A lot of it definitely has to do with some bad gameplay. And that we will go ahead... I'm not going to concede. I'm not going to show my opponent any more cards. But maybe my opponent will show me some more cards. Show me your cards, buddy boy. Nope. Good job, friend. Good job. Alrighty. Ringo Rama wins. That is accurate. Ringo Rama handily won. I'm scared of my opponent's deck. I think it's a little bit better than mine. Do I care about Void Snare? It's definitely an option. Nothing else is. Uh, Miner's Bane trades for stuff, but so does anything else I take out, right? It might be time to get rid of the Merc Lurker. But actually, if a Swan... I mean, if the 1-3s do block a lot of my opponent's early stuff. Yeah, we just need to get some of our more powerful spells, and our flyers are actually going to be good if we're not so far behind the board by the time we cast them. Do I want to Void Snare over something? My opponent saw the Turn of Frog and has Ranger Guile, so it's a little bit less awesome, but I still think it's okay. I want to remember the Ranger Guile exists. That's really nice. It's a pretty basic card in the format. 
definitely want to play first again. Wowzers! Well, I'm keeping it. There's no creatures, but... Awesome removal spells and a divination? What What could go wrong? Really? Really? Let's see. Will anything go wrong? Not when you F6. F6! F16! We all have sixed. Happy day. Oh, and I draw a three drop. F16 again, but not this time on my opponent's turn. Do I lightning strike a generator servant? I definitely don't lightning strike a torch fiend, so we'll let that thing happen. Hey, a swamparoo. There's no discard, so we'll save that for some bonus action. My opponent's probably going to know why I have it. I'm glad to have it. It's a thing. My opponent didn't see my Juggernaut, so Torch Fiends were not added. This is probably just the normal main deck. So that's good. Opponent wants to go for it? Go for it. Connect four. Please play out more spells for my Cone of Flame to devour. Generator Servant. Alright, alright. That's a thing, that's a thing. I think we just Divinate, right? I won't be able to cast Lightning Strike no matter what. Oh, hello, other cards. So I'm probably... Six drop could get scary. Of course. Makes the Cone of Flame way worse. I mean, I'm not attacking. There's no way I'm going to trade the Rough Rider for the Generator Servant. It's dying next turn either way, either because it gets generated into something else, or with a Cone of Flame will take it out, plus something else. If I can survive without a 6-drop coming down right now, I'll be in really good shape. Nope. Gonna die. Oh, Charging Rhino. I mean, it's not great, but I may not die. Taking a lot of damage. All right. Hmm, turn to frog. That's kind of cool. Not exactly what we're looking for, though. We can turn to frog, the charging rhino. Take two from the torch fiend. Problem is we can't play the mongrel and turn to frog. If we double block, we can't double block the rhino. I think we just have to wait back. And I need this cone of flame to do more than just kill a torch fiend. So we'll play the swamp. And hang on to our lightning strike and our turn of frog. It's our only game plan right now. <sighs> so Ranger Skyle scares me, of course. Makes this guy a 5-5. Five, five. Blocks. Get 2 for 1. I can... Th 3 for 2 myself by Lightning Striking, which I might just have to do if my opponent has that with the Turn to Frog. I'm not excited for that in any way, shape, or form. I do think I have to go for it, though, because I lose this game otherwise. I'm way too far behind. Verdant Haven. Gain 2 life. Okay. Please, no Ranger's Guile! Woo! Ranger's Guile. Hey, there she blow, my friend. There she blow. All right, I have to decide right now. Do I use the Lightning Strike? Yeah, I think I have to. Like I said, I just got to kill that Charging Rhino. My stuff just does not get as big as that. Sucks. That's the three for two. But I might be able to stabilize at 10 life with the Scrapyard Mongrel and then this Cone of Flame to get us back in it. What? Something else? The own Lightning Strike! Oh! Oh ho Well played, my opponent. Well played. Alright, I'm really dead soon, huh? Hmm.
<laughs> I'm not intentionally messing up my manas. I'm sorry, opponent. I'm not trying to slow roll you, I swear. Go down to six. And I don't know. How do I deal with that charging rhino? Play a juggernaut after killing the torch fiend? Who knows? Probably just dead. Yep. I'm going to die. Five, six, seven, down to three. I don't think there's a whole lot I can do. What draws do I have? Because now my biggest thing is a 4-4. Ooh, an Inferno Fist. That's doing nothing. Alrighty. Yeah, that, that's the game. Well, I got stomped in the finals. How about that? Uh, conceding. Let's see if there is... Oh, oh, I hate that that happens. There's a way to get back to this, right? To get back to my game? Somewhere, somehow? Pretty sure there is. There it is. Yay! I want to draw a card. Is there any hope? Nope. Zero hope. Anyway, guys, I'm going to say again, thank you for watching. Um, I already said all this in the last match, but I still always appreciate it. Again, comment, subscribe, like on YouTube, comment on manabluff.com. I will respond. Find me on Twitter, underscore, underscore, RJH, underscore, underscore. Woohoo! Enjoy your week. Take care. Thanks for watching again. Bye.